Hi everyone, this is going to be a swatch and review video for Anastasia's Dream Glow Kit. This is a um, palette that has six shimmering shades and it is available through Sephora and Ulta for purchase. A link as always will be in the description box so you can find where to purchase it if you are interested in doing so. So this palette retails for $45 and the description of the palette says that it features six shades of Anastasia's Buildable Metallic Luster Highlighting Formula. Layer them together or wear them separately on the face, eyes, and body. For even more glow, apply them with a damp makeup brush. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. There will be more upcoming giveaways. Make sure you check out the most recent What's New in Beauty video, as well as the two MAC review collections for the Aaliyah collection and for the Oh Sweetie collection. All right, so here are the six shades up close. I really like that the name of each shade is on the pan underneath each shade. And of course I will swatch these from the top row left to right and then the bottom row left to right. All right, we're starting with Wish, which is a pearl base with violet sparkles. One swatch shows up very well. I'm gonna do two just to build it up for the camera. And I'm using an angled powder brush to swatch these. Next is Unicorn, which is a lavender with pink sparkle. Here is a second layer applied. Next is Magic, which is an icy base with a kaleidoscope cluster of red, gold, pink, and blue sparkles. Again, applying a second layer to kind of build that up. Next is Ethereal, which is a cool-toned lavender duochrome with blue reflective sparkle. Building that up with a second layer here. Sunshine is a lavender gold shift. So the base is golden and then the sparkles are lavender. Putting on a second layer right here. All right, and the last shade is Regal. So one layer there, and layer two. This is a golden pink base with a light kaleidoscope cluster of pink, gold, and blue sparkles. Okay, so here are the shades up close from left to right, you have Wish right there. Then we have Unicorn, followed by Magic. Then Ethereal, Sunshine, and Regal. Okay, so there are all six shades. I will note that the shimmers do flake everywhere. They kind of fly everywhere. So I might expect that these will have the same effect kind of fallout wood with an eyeshadow. All right, now since you can use these as eyeshadows and use them foiled, I'm now gonna swatch each shade for you with a, an eyeshadow brush that has been dampened. So we're again starting with the shade Wish which is a pearl base with violet sparkles. Next is Unicorn, which is a lavender and pink sparkle. Third is Magic, which has an icy base with a kaleidoscope of red, gold, pink, and blue sparkles. Ethereal, which is a cool toned lavender duochrome with blue reflective sparkles. Sunshine, which is a lavender gold shift. And Regal, which is a golden pink base with a light kaleidoscope cluster of pink gold 
and blue sparkles. All right, there are the same six shades, but this time applied with an eyeshadow brush and with the brush dampened to get a foiled effect. So one at a time, you have Wish, Unicorn, Magic, Ethereal, Sunshine, and Regal. So what I've noticed overall with this palette is I feel like the shimmer and metallic flakes are ch too chunky. They're much larger than I would prefer and I think that a lot of people would prefer. That means that it doesn't look as refined on the skin when you use it as a highlighter. And then as an eyeshadow, even when you foil it, it becomes a little bit splotchy and, become, and can become a little bit streaky. I do like um, some of the more unique colors, especially Sunshine with the lavender and the gold. I'm not sure if I can think of any other duochrome uh, shade that mixes those two particular colors, so that's nice. But overall, I, I don't know, I just... I've reviewed several Anastasia, Anastasia products, and the only one that I can think of really being super impressed by are her bronzers. Really, everything else, I just feel like there's such a huge cult following for Anastasia, but I personally haven't really understood why that is. I just don't think that a ton of the products from the company are outstanding or superior to a lot of other things you can get from other brands for much cheaper. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Obviously, you don't have to share my opinion, but if you're going to um, have a different one, please share it respectfully. And if you disagree with other people in the comments, again, please share your comments uh, in a respectful and courteous manner. But I would like to know what you think of this kit, if you've used it, or in general, what you think of this brand. I hope that this video was helpful to you if you were interested in this palette. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next video.